Hey everyone, this is a video that's long overdue I think. I have some pit stones saved up for you guys. I think I have roughly 1.3 or 1.4 thousand of them. Let's have a look. Other, scroll down here. Yeah, 1,334. Uh, I won't be opening them all. I think we'll do a thousand of them and open up some of the new skills. Uh, we have a match coming up against Nuke from Server 5 uh, in a few hours. That should be interesting. Well, let's get this. Yeah, as you can see, I have quite a lot of stuff here that I need to open up. So what I've been doing with the gold is concentrating on my dragon levels and uh, boosting up certain immortals. So I haven't been concentrating too heavily on artifacts. That's why you see that I have a lot of them here. Let's get to it. So what I want you to do in your head is just like get a visual and try to guess how many soul stones I'm going to get from a thousand the pip stones. What do you think? A few of you might have watched the last time I did the video. Actually, some friend of mine did the video of me opening a thousand of them. Uh, you might remember how many I got then. As you know, it's all RNG based, so I could get a lot more this time, or I could get a lot less. So before we do this, let's have a look and see just exactly how many I have. Meeting any of these? Happen there. So we're going to start off with eighty one thousand and three. See if this is still working, and it is. So, with no further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this ball rolling. Wish me luck. Skips. Gucci. Isabella. Edward. Need some of those epics. Come on. There's one. Leo's my first one. Yoshi. I think I'll get a lot of Yoshis coming up. Spartacus. Yeah. Come on. Come on! Just the one so far. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. Okay, another Leo. Doesn't matter who I get, really. I just want it to be epic. Come on. Nope. Let's 
use that. Gilgamesh. That's three. Made a lot more than three. And a lot of these fives help a lot too, so... It's not the end all of the deal if I don't get a 60. I'm getting four fives is just 20, so it's like a third of that. We're under a thousand, so we've already used up uh, around 400. That's pretty good. 70 right there. Can we get a few two in a row or something? Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Nine eleven. Another good one. Yi Sung G. Ashoka. Probably the most useless epic immortal going around. Other my other people might have differing opinions. But I think I'd have been the majority saying that he is the worst immortal going around. Probably worse than El Cido. <clears throat> you be the judge. Another clear. Is popular. These are pretty good too if we get double uh, purples. I don't mind them. It's going to be 4k to me. Harold, great immortal. I mean, they did kind of make water not as strong as what it used to be with that, um, with the update, not the recent update, but the one before where they uh, put that dodge, or well, not being able to dodge magical effects. I think they had a big impact on water. <clears throat> Still a great hero to have, great immortal. Highly recommend him. Two in a row. Can we make it three? Come on. Three, three, three. Ah, oh, no hat trick. This is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Even if we didn't get the six to 40, we've got 25, which is just as good, just about. Uh oh. Houston, we have a problem. There we go. Just connection issue. It's William Wallace. I can't do accidents. I'll try though. In good spirit. It's always good to make fun of yourself in front of others. King Arthur. So, with another 368 pitch stones that I'm going to use, how do you think I'm going so far? I think I'm slightly below where I wanted to be, actually. I would have had luck to see in a few more epics, to tell you the truth. 
Uh, but it's RNG. I don't have any control over that. Let's hope the next 368 are going to be better. Uh, first William for the night. I uh, just maxed him a few days ago, actually. Locked his artifact on a slot. Would have been handy back then. Two in a row. Yoshi again. Great immortal. Highly recommend him. One of the best back row ranger models going around. Come on, a few more. Another William. Fantastic. Forty thirty. Excuse me. Our first Hannibal for the night. The very first. Just one sec. Back with you. Let's have a check if to see if this is still going. Excellent. Let's go. Two in a row. Come on. Three hundred and eighty. Another Hannibal, fantastic, and a five as well. A six and a half of uh, soul crystals right there. So how are you going with your uh, prediction? What do you think? I thought I would have got a lot of Yoshis. But going back, I think I got... A lot of mixtures, to tell you the truth. It hasn't been just the one immortal. You can see in a minute just how many of each immortal that I ended up getting. You know what? Yeah, might as well use the rest of these, I guess. Only 300 left, so... What am I going to do with them anyway, right? Let's take them out of the ballpark. Hopefully they'll get me a few more. There's another Yoshi. Who am missing? Who has not? Come on, I don't think we've got a Peter. Uh, 
we haven't got a hippo. So imagine you only have a few. What are the odds of you actually spinning hippo or Peter? <clears throat> We've literally just gone and used over a thousand. And I still haven't summoned not one of them. I think that's our first red brick. Welcome to the club, mate. Boom. Uh, connection error again. Yep. Let's check to see if it's still recording. Yes, it is. The boom. I was actually going to do this in a live feed. I did try a couple of times, but I couldn't figure it out. I do have it figured out now, so I will be coming out with a few like these in the future. Look out for those. Our first Peter. Imagine that, with 92 left. Can we get a hippo? Come on. We have 10 spins left. Come on. Come on. Do it. Another Cleo. She might be leading the way, actually. 56 remaining. Counting down to the last. Another Leo. Our first immortal that we pulled. He's been quite popular. Two left. Our first. Oh, is it? Either our first or second Julius. I can't remember. Last one. There we go. It's Edward. I think we started with one and we'll end up with an Edward. All right. The interesting part coming up. Let's see how many. Soul crystals we have. I bet that's still going up. It is. What's it on? Leo. So it's come to the end right there. This game is always spying on you. You can't hide anything. Look at it. Gilga. Let's help these guys out. Okay. 81.3k. Let's keep... Hang on. First of all... Who did we get a lot of? 95 Ashoka, uh, 160 Yi Sang, 245 Yoshi, like I did predict, 115 Gilga, 325 Cleo, and I think she is probably going to have the most. We don't need these anymore. Uh. 95 King Arthur, 95 Peter, 200 Leonidas, Leonidas, 110 Julius Caesar, 105 Fredericks, 90 Harolds, and look at that, 35 Hippo, only 35. One of the models that we did not pull, 
Hannibal with 150, and that's 40 to uh, that <laughs> Richard. Sorry, I had a blank there for a second. So we did pull uh, all the ones except for a hippo. So there you go. If you're one that was looking to get Hippo, obviously you would have not got her. So let's tap and place and see how many we get. Blues are finished. No, it's coming to a close. Let's see, fifties. Yeah, first of the purples coming in. So a lot of blue, I think. Oh, just a few left. Twenty-seven two hundred. Definitely going to get past five hundred thousand. Losing my connection again. Pissing me off. Really pissing me off. Did we backtrack? I'm gonna have to go back and have a look. Up to four thirty four. Coming up to the goal near as well. Almost right now to 700k. Seven hundred and twenty one minus the eighty K we had. So roughly six hundred and forty thousand soul crystals. Uh using a one thousand one point three thousand a pip stone. What do you think? Did you guess more or did you have less? I don't know, I wanted more. One second, there is the phone. Hello. All right, I'm back. Let's have a look at these skills. Tower of Knowledge. Uh, I've already maxed Annihilation. I think it's probably the best new skill going around. Let's have a look what it does. Every six seconds after battle starts, 45 chance of dealing magical damage with a factor of 300% to all enemy units it's an AOE and let's compare it to what would have been it's a, uh, something people would have been using instead of this a fire nova 
every six seconds after the battle starts has a 50 chance, 50 percent chance of causing magical damage at a rate of 175 to three random enemy units and also inflicting burn for six seconds, dealing magical damage to the targets, damage rate of 75 percent once every three seconds. Yeah. And Elishan, much better. Much, much better. As this AOE, all targets. 300% as well. The damage factor. I think this. And there's three new gold uh, skills Annihilation, Energy Burst. I'm going to go ahead and max this one. I'm not quite sure who I'm going to use it on. It'll probably be on my third squad, to tell you the truth. My first two squads are kind of have them set at the moment. Let's go ahead and max it. Bada bing, bada boom. This is the other gold one. After the battle starts, reduces physical damage received by three random allied units, which will be 50% when it's maxed for 18 seconds. I do like it, however, however, the mage is doing like the vast majority of damage. How important is negating physical damage at the moment? You know, if you ask me, I don't think it's that important. There are better options out there. So I'm just going to leave that for now. Let's have a look at this. It's a passive absolute defense. Every six seconds after the battle starts, 15 chance, 15% 15 chance of entering a defensive status that blocks the next three instances of damage for a maximum duration of six seconds. What? Six seconds. Every six seconds for six seconds. And it's going to go up to 50%. So, um, undecisive on this one. It's only for the one immortal. So you're just going to be protecting one. Right? You know who it might work on? If you're running a Sith, Right, and you're protecting a mage with one of your support immortals. This might actually be, be a good combination to use with the Sis. Right? The mortal with the Sis is going to be taking a lot of damage, right? Use this. It's going to minimize the damage by that support immortal using a Sis. So, actually, I do kind of like this. So we're going to max it. I can see it's, you know, making its way into one of my squads. We have 435,000 left. How many skills? Two, three, okay, three left. Uh, okay. What's this one? Sacrifice. After the battle starts, increases damage of two random allied units by 4.5% by reducing your damage by 4.5%. Also has a 15% chance of increasing your initial energy by 100. I like it. The only thing I don't like about this is the second part to it which is just a 15% chance of increasing initial energy by 100. That doesn't seem to me to justify using this. I mean, that's a very low percentage. I mean, that's one and a half out of every 10 battles, right? Uh, I don't know. Who, who could I use this on? And it'll be a damage increase when it's max of 
And remember what we talked about before? I just... And it's random as well. I mean... Like if it was... A damage increase of the Immortal on the same side, you could set it up so this linked up to increase the damage of your mage, which could be quite handy. But since it's random, you just don't know. It could increase the damage of someone like Charm. <laughs> and that's just going to be useless. There's so much RNG into this. I'm just, I'm not sold on it. I am not sold on it. Jewel Master, after the battle starts, increases your physical attack by 15% and grants you immunity to wound. So when it's max, it'll be an increase of 50% to your physical attack and will grant you immunity to wound. Which immortals do wound? There's two of them. Quinn and Jangus Khan. So it's just going to negate those two immortals, right? Well, the second part is still, he's still going to get the physical attack, but the second part is just going to negate Quinn and Jangus Khan. Yeah, how do you know? Um, you're going to go up against a wind squad or a squad with Genghis Khan. And which of the immortals do you use this on? I mean, still, not, I'm not very, how can I put it? I mean, I can see it going to good use, but again, like with that being only useful against two immortals, that second part, there's a lot of RNG involved as well. I'm not sure about it, really. What are we going to do here? Go back to this. And it is an aura too, so it could be conflicting with other auras. And this is Oaken Guard. But uh, I'm going to max this. Since it's a bless, and I could probably use it in my third or fourth squad, right? Let's go ahead and max this. Put a bing. Everything else is pretty much maxed until you get down here. Some of the blue ones, I like this. I think this is great. Okay, I'm not gonna go ahead and skill them for now. We can do another video on that. This video has gone a lot for long enough. Let's have a look at the time frame on it. Yeah, you're going to have problems struggling through this video most probably. 32 minutes. <laughs> I do hope you enjoy it. I hope it's been informative. Uh, you'll get a better idea of how much it's going to cost you to, you know, upgrade these skills and what to look for and what to use. So this is me out. Take care, have a good one, good luck in IB, and adios.